embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit embarrassed. You're embarrassed? No, I can't help but feel embarrassed. I wish I never really entertained anything here to say. That's why I love her. <laughs> Congratulations, Timba, with 58. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, can you all just take a look at these pictures and tell me what you think about the occurrences in Biggie's house? You guys saw some new clips just surfaced online, preaching and actually helping us understand, <laughs> giving us receipts on why Venice was so mad with Themba and Bo last night. Guys, the first clip you guys watched was the shower hour moments between exclusive shower hour moment that happened exclusively between Temba and the poor guys. Yep, that was that was just what you watched, guys. So literally, guys, you guys know that. Um, I mean, I think what happened with this content is the same con the same thing that is happening with this. Um, you guys remember when we had the Big Brother Ninja season? There were some kind of premium content that wasn't really shared, and then afterwards, kind of surfaced. Um, from people for people who were watching, um, who were watching through you know, other mediums, <laughs> they got to see some content while some people who were watching the other mediums didn't see some content. Like, guys, literally, haha. <laughs> Thankfully, this um, receipt surfaced and guys, of course, I'm going to share it. <laughs> so guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to be giving you the full gist, the full story like I always do. Um, this um, In this video, I'm going to be taking three things. I'm going to be talking about the shower hour, the exclusive shower hour between Mpo and Themba. And I'm going to be telling you about <laughs> the epic clapback tools gave Bo. Like, literally, it was more like, you know what? You embarrassed my bestie. I think I'm going to embarrass you some more. <laughs> that was literally what we saw in the second video, guys. And guys, this is, I want to also tell you about the results from the friday arena games guys you definitely want to subscribe right now if you haven't please click on the red subscribe button and of course turn on the post notification bell so that you always get a lot of my video guys this conversation is loud i ain't gonna lie about that it is loud so guys you guys if you have if you don't know the trend of this conversation guys please check my previous video i always do i tell a story in every of my video i try to keep you updated as best as i can by, you know, taking it a step at a time and following through the sequence of um, conversations and things that are happening in Biggie's house. So, guys, previously we've talked about um, um, Venice having a conversation with um, Nale and then moving from downstairs to upstairs. Like, she just literally is very tired of the Themba thing. She said she was feeling them. But I was like, guys, I mean, there was so much. Everything became very 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 clear like legit so much clarity with just one video so when that video kind of popped out i was like okay now this makes sense so literally guys yesterday was like all hot and raving we had venice like really venting but in a cool way you know she's not, not very not a loud person and then we actually saw tools like comfort comforting her telling her that it's okay you know that she doesn't need to feel embarrassed and all that and all that you guys anyway i think they slept through it all and then today guys on friday um this guy's literally woke up and of course um tato and sister mara were turning up with terry they were going with the old school vibes you know how it flows with fridays so these guys were literally just talking about just singing rather um about old school vibes you know and then venice was really bringing in some you know she actually did the shakira voice thing for us today you know and then we were listening it was really fun and then guys of course it was like all of the housemates were there chilling you know in the garden and then Mpo, in her own way you know of also being part of the conversation that was happening decided to sing one of the old songs that we all know and guys everything the sound the lyrics were all wrong and tools didn't waste time to like tell her like you know it was it was it was quite an embarrassing moment i'm not gonna lie i think tools needed to do that clap back for his friend you guys know venice and, and tools have been like close forever <laughs> i don't know man but i just felt like that second video was like more of a clap back from tools 
maybe over like maybe in revenge style of saying you know what um i don't think venice is the only person that needs to be embarrassed i think we need to share this embarrassment and basically that was what we found truth doing on behalf of venice guys <laughs> for me it's loud over here you guys I don't know if you're sensing it, but hey, hey, I don't know. We have we had Venice like really trying to be very happy all day, like flowing, singing, having conversations. In fact, she had a lot of conversations with Tato. She was asking Tato um, questions about um, that she was very quiet last week. Then how come she suddenly all you know like very vibrant and then Tato had to tell her that one of the reasons why it was like that was because she was up for nomination the veto part thing from tools and tools kept apologizing all through like it made her feel some type of way and basically that kind of made her more withdrawn and then she was like okay she understands guys it was literally very interesting um i mean so many interesting conversations we had terry early today also telling um libo and all that you know you guys need to know what you're doing understand how you're working around your strategy because brands are watching, you know, deals might be popping. I don't know, but this guy is, ah, uh, <laughs> I ain't tired of this content I'm watching. Anyways, guys, um, you guys know they had um diary session also, like every, and Biggie asked them about how they felt about their, their wager task. Um, and of course, the losing teams, people like Sister Ran said she was disappointed. She felt like their team, her team needed to win. But, you know, it's Biggie's game and Biggie just, you know, did what he liked. You know, Tato was like, you know, they deserved it because, um, of course, Tools and Nali, you know, Biggie had pointed out that they were sleeping while others were working. And, you know, maybe that contributed to the reason why they hadn't, you know, you know, won the task and basically um Tato was like it's fair. So it was more like a mixed emotion thing for some of the members of the losing team, which is a stone team and and all that. And so guys, afterwards, you know how it is. They got ready, they got their packages um for their Friday arena games and guys they came in popping looking like Spartacus guys I watched that movie I think it's an amazing movie so the name of the game for the Friday game was Sparta and it had to go through they had to go through these five hurdles they're jumping they're climbing stalls making sure their legs are touching some red lines or something anyways um so many of the housemates were really up to their game I, I mean we saw people like Sister Mara finishing up in 42 seconds we had people like gashon finishing in 44 seconds we had uh themba who was supposed to finish at 48 seconds because he was but he was because he was nonchalant about like i don't know what's wrong with them but then i ended up finishing in 58 seconds we saw twos and terry have an equal score 49 seconds guys um ah thato did a lot thato really did a lot but unfortunately she just her game kept messing and or maybe she kept messing her game i think her anxiety kept messing her game up that's what i'm gonna say and basically guys um afterwards biggie there were some penalties that were given to almost almost all the housemates guys tools got a penalty um, terry got a penalty and for each penalty you get 30 seconds added to your time so i'm um, i mean the the winner of the friday arena game um for the sparta arena game is the person that finishes the five um different hurdles um within the shortest time so Literally, I mean, if we were to look at who had the shortest time, it was actually Sister Mara who actually finished up her game at twin, at 42 seconds, guys, um, followed by Gashon at 44 seconds. But unfortunately for these two people, um, Sister Mara got 30 seconds for not put like um for o- over not stepping on a red um, one of the reds um spots and got 30 seconds added which automatically made, made her time higher and of course Gashon also got two penalties that was one minute added to his time um terry got um 30 seconds like guys it was just loud oh god i mean they literally tried um but it was just at the end of the day um themba who had finished at 58 um seconds guys ended up becoming the winner of the friday arena games it was quite interesting because guys literally if we were to look at it that's it Temba <laughs> wouldn't have won that game um if others didn't get the penalty and and, and again 
Demba would have won that game if he had like been more active in doing the finished thing than being like a desicle about it. I felt like he was very like a desicle because guys, Demba literally finished at 48 seconds, guys, but he didn't stand still at the finish line so Biggie could blow the buzzer. You know, he was just busy trying to take off his cape and I think that added 10 seconds to his time, um, which automatically now made it 58 seconds instead of 48 seconds. But anyways, we're happy that Themba has finally won um, one of the arena games, right, the arena games. And yeah, congratulations to him. Guys, Themba has been in the news. Hey, I don't know, man, but what do you guys have to say about this situation that is happening between Themba, Bo, and <laughs> Venus? Like, this triangle, I, it is such a savage triangle. Let me, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. I'm going to see you all in another video for now. Thank you so much for your watch time. Bye-bye.